You know that incredible feeling you get inside when you see someone you love? Whew. Not the kind of love like, oh baby, I want you now. But the kind of love you have inside for a close relative, say a grandmother, my grandma. Well, Nana is around 5'5", five five, short silver hair, a wrinkly face, and an oxygen tank. Not a normal way to describe a 68-year-old, an oxygen tank. I think it goes without saying she's a smoker. I remember when I was little, all the stuff we used to do. She would go play tennis at the country club. I would chase the ball around, which I would let escape. She would tell me, I should tell my parents to get me a haircut. I would reply, so I can get another haircut? Why do I need this one? She would take me out to breakfast so I could get happy cakes. And for those who are not four, those are called pancakes. But everything has changed now. There's no more tennis to be played, no more balls to chase, no more lectures on the haircuts I need to get. There's not even the occasional happy cakes I loved. Now, all we do is travel from hospital to assisted living to Uncle Brad's house. Now it's her lying in a hospital bed for a few weeks at a time. It's listening to a 90-year-old woman cough so much that you think you might catch this cancer. It's watching a beloved mom, a sister, an aunt, my Nana, fade away slowly, and there's nothing you can do about it. You can't help her with the pain. You can't even make the cancer go away. You can't even take her mind off of it. Oh, the constant beeping of that oxygen tank. Oh, those flashing lights. Oh, watching those nurses come in and out of that hospital room. And all those reminders of those happy cakes we had together. I miss my Nana. The one that mopped my hair and fed me happy cakes. I refuse to believe a strong woman can be turned into this. I refuse to let the memories of my current Nana become this Nana. Oh, I refuse. I refuse.